see how decent this deck's going to go. It's a four-round tournament today. We're just trying to get some promos. So if I can get two wins, I believe, I get promos. So if I can get that, I'll be happy. Oh, looks like we're running against the infamous Rutherford Banks Wild deck right off the bat. Uh, of course, we want to play first. Give our opponent a GLHF. And I guess this will work for us. We'll keep this. The uh, Martyr's going to come in pretty handy here if we get the Diamond to play it. And we're playing against In... In Sanctus? In Sanctus. That's what we're playing against here. I'm not sure how I lost 30 seconds already on my clock, though. That's, that's a little bit annoying. I think I barely... Alright, so there we go. Do this... Field Seer. This isn't a great opening hand, honestly. We really need our, our second Sapphire or a Diamond here to, uh, to get this deck going. Might as well swing in. He's, it would be a bad block for him to make here. Oh, there we go. There's the Diamond I was looking for. Uh, yeah, we'll go and th throw out that diamond right now. So we'll have our martyr ready for the, the big drops when he starts throwing those on, in our face. I could have gone with the sapphire as well, but I only need one diamond to get that online. There's plenty of ways to get the sapphire in this deck, so I'm not too worried about it. So we might be taking one back, or maybe he'll play uh, Chlorophyllia. There we go. Maybe he's got two Chlorophyllia to play here. Or maybe he'll just swing back. Okay. I guess I only have one resource, so that's an okay attack to make. Time Ripple. Yeah, I'll go ahead and Time Ripple this little guy. Make him replay him. Stop his ramp for a, a second. Quick, quick second. Push some more damage. If I can draw Sapphire, I can get Indigo Dreamwalker in play, and that, that'll be good. Really need a Sapphire here. Our Martyr isn't live right now, but that's not a big deal. I don't have a lot going on anyways. Ooh, there's the Cluckadon. We could Martyr in response if we had uh, a, a resource up, but that's fine. We just shuffled those guys in. We'll just, we'll just martyr in response to his attack phase. Do, do, do. Swing. Put those guys in the deck. Pass the turn back. Let's see if he plays something in his first main phase. Yeah, we'll go ahead and martyr this guy. Um, I'll take the four. Yeah, I'll take four here. I'll take four. Kind of want to save my removal for something to see if there's something in the second main phase he's going to play here. He's got five resources up. That's quite a lot. Uh, replays that Howling Brave. Sure. There's the Sapphire I was looking for. So we need to get that Sapphire in play. Let's see, if I play Dreamwalker, it leaves it open, but I don't, he can't really kill it, I don't think, with that deck, unless he's got, well, he's got Diamond, he could do something to it, I guess. Let's go ahead and throw it out there. I'm not worried about taking another 4 damage just yet. So Pride's Fall, our guy, sure. Angel. Wow. Well, that's annoying. Take five. <laughs> so far, this tournament's not looking good for us. It's not looking good at all. Let's 
He's getting all the draws. Let's see. So wait for his attack phase and then martyr the angel. That seems pretty bad. This is why one of the reasons why I really dislike martyr. Yep, just one of the reasons. Uh, root father, okay. At least I can martyr and counter here. Only brave. He's got six resources. That's quite a lot. All right. Well, we'll take five here instead of eight. So if I top deck shards for the rest of this, I'm basically done. That's unfortunate. That'll be unfortunate. Uh, no, you cannot draw cards, sir. No, you cannot. I would rather you did not draw any cards. And, of course... Oh, okay, I guess that's something. Uh, martyr and counter. So the nice thing about this is when you shuffle them in... Um, it it counts in such a way where it, it shuffles the cards in. It doesn't seem to shuffle the other cards. So, like, if I have a card on top, I don't have to worry about losing it. So, uh, uh, we'll block the Howling Brave if he swings with it, I guess, here. With the Quick Brown, the Brown Fox Scout. That was free. I didn't even pay for that. It might be better to just bluff with cards at this point with the cards I have in hand, but I mean, I'm, I can't seem to stop a, a Cluckadon here. The Cluckadon seems like it's just going to carry the game for him. And an Eternal Sage also doesn't help me very much here. Arcane Focus. I don't think this is going to be enough into an Arcane Focus. Martyr and a counter magic, I guess. That's something, but I need more than that. Mm, it really just doesn't matter. I don't think I... There's nothing I can do to stop all the damage. A martyr's not going to do it. Yeah, let's just go to this game two. Oh, boy. Wow. Well... Rutherford Banks deck. Alright, so we want Suffocate for sure. Um, that might be maybe a Time Ripple. Suffocate and Time Ripple, I guess. Um, Martyr. Feels, still feels pretty bad here. I don't know that Verdict's going to do a lot here. I'm going to get rid of Reese just because Crocosaur eats it. I just don't feel like Verdict's going to do very much here, so I'm going to get rid of that. Or maybe I can get rid of a Thunderfield Seer, actually. Maybe I can't get rid of two of those, and then... Yeah, I don't think Verdict's going to do too much. We'll keep three Thunderfield Seers. Or maybe I should just go Carnosaurus instead. Yeah, go with that. those early guys. Unless Martyr. Sure. Sure. We'll see what that does. Play for 
first, of course. This is okay. We don't get the turn one arcane focus, but we do have a martyr on turn two or a time ripple to help stall the board state a little bit. So I'll go Sapphire, of course. Suffocate, I think, could be really decent in this matchup because it just it handles a lot of things. I'm a big fan of Suffocate. Uh, it's not really playing very much right now, so I'm just going to Arcane Focus here to just kind of get it in, get it in the graveyard so we can shuffle it into the deck. Um, we need resources. I do want Windsinger. Um, let's see. Windsinger. What are the chances I'm going to keep? I need another resource here, unfortunately. It's just not time for Windsinger just yet, so I'm going to go with uh, the resource right now. It's not a good time for Windsinger. If I had more resources in hand, then that would have been more of like a Windsinger hand. He's only on one resource. That's kind of bad for him. Wow, he's discarding. That's good for me. Bad for him. Discarded a Crocosaur there. Um, I guess that's something he can get back later, though, with Rutherford, so it's not too bad. Uh, let's see, we probably want to go Sapphire here. Yeah, we needed that for the Suffocate, so we're going to go double to get the double Sapphire in play. The Sapphire here. And we don't really have anything to shuffle, so we'll just go ahead and pass a turn, and then next turn we'll be able to play our Wakuna Crow Feather, which will give our next troop flight. Plus two, plus two, and if it's Kyotl, it'll start carrying through the deck. We actually have Suffocate live now, too, and so I think that that will actually be really good. Yes! I'll Suffocate. <laughs> so I'm going to Suffocate Puck. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Um, I'll Time Ripple him in his end step. That way I can play Wakuna and he has to replay him. There we go. set up really well right now this game because he can just replay puck and that's going to be bad actually he can't even really replay puck and he has picked up a chlorophyllia that's helpful okay let's go ahead and do this for wild of course We can't play Crocosaur here, so we're safe to play the Wakuna, the other, the new one. I mean, I guess if he, even if he does play it, it won't eat my my new Wakuna. It'll just eat the old one. I, he can use uh, whatever it is, the other card, um, where it does hits up their uh, toughness. He can use that if he gets that. There's the puck. Which I might just time ripple again. I'll probably swing first and then we'll Yeah, we'll just swing first. And then we'll just time ripple it before his turn, so he has to replay it. Just keep making it more expensive, right? I've got two nice pieces of removal for the big drops if he ever gets to one. Uh, he's on a three turn clock right now if I can just keep stalling, or if I can just keep getting damage in. Okay, getting rid of that Arborean. Arborean. That's fine. Is a Howling Brave. Mm. I'm 
really more afraid of uh, the other one, of um, whatever his name is that he just played, than that guy. Oh, wow. Um, take incubation webs, I guess. Yeah, let's just go start incubating him. Uh, all the damage in. He wasn't going to block anyways, but... Shuffle that back in. And time ripple. Big fan of incubation webs. Let's start getting spiders in play. It's just another thing I can do. An 810 Windsinger. Which handles most of the things in his deck, by the way. I think we just push damage and keep bouncing his guy, though. We'll see if he blocks. If he blocks, then I can play Wing Singer. If not, then I'll, uh... Then I will time ripple his puck. Yeah, we'll just keep tempoing. I like the deck. I'm just not a big fan of Martyr. I don't think I would go with this many Martyr in the deck. Probably play some other stuff. We're on a five minute delay, so that's one thing I'll sort of contend with. I can actually just counter whatever he plays here anyway, so... 1-0, oh, alright, sweet Irish. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, he got kind of greedy on that one, had a bad hand, so that was a big, big part of that. Um, why I took that one there. Yeah, I don't really see myself changing anything. I really like my choices. I especially like Carnosaurus now. Now that I'm seeing some of the his early drops, I'm seeing the fact that he's playing Puck. Puck's kind of a early drop that kind of Carnosaurus just would love to eat. Especially if I buff him with uh, one of my other guys. So going second now. And ugh. It's a pretty yucky hand, but we're gonna keep it. Keeping hand. Okay, so we'll go diamond into sapphire and we have all the cards live, but uh ooh, there we go. I'm still gonna go diamond here though. And then maybe we'll go wild. We'll see on the next one. We need double wild to play the Carnosaurus. Luckily, we can play it. If he plays like a, if he plays a, a dude here, then we'll go wild. Now he goes chlorophyllia. I kind of want to be ready though in case he gets a dude. Let's go ahead. And let's be ready just in case. So we can actually martyr if we really needed to, but. More likely we would time ripple the, if he plays a dude. So I think that Carnosaurus here is actually going to be the best thing to have. Anyways. Whew. Um, not really. Not, not really. Yeah, 
yeah, Mythic Fish Mom built this deck originally. I just made a couple of changes to it. So I could go in on the Karn Source and get, start getting aggressive, I guess. I might as well, honestly. I might as well just start getting aggressive. And if he kills them, then I just shuffle them. I still have removal with Time Ripple and other stuff, but getting in there and doing some damage is kind of important. He's gonna shuffle root father, so he's yeah he's digging for stuff. He may be flooded. I do need to start drawing some more spells though, if this is gonna happen, because like I can only do so much. I can only stave off so much. I can remove one troop. I can delay one troop. It's not really good enough when he's got like you know, like 12 or 14, like, ridiculous drops that I have to contend with in that deck. So, yeah, we kind of need to start getting in there. Chlorophyllia, sure. Cerebral domination, so I don't draw too many cards. Okay, I guess. I can, I can time ripple it if I really need to draw cards. I'm not too worried about it, honestly. There's not a lot going on with the board state here. Putting him on a, uh, what is that, 11 turn clock, 12 turn clock with a Carnosaurus. I mean, that's, there's not a lot happening here. He's got plenty of time to draw something really big like that. That's a problem. guess we will time ripple it on the attack. Um, I guess I might as well play another one. I don't want to fight his guy, obviously. Yeah, so we'll just do this and we'll time ripple him on the attack. swing for four next turn. And my clock has moved a little bit faster, but we still need to keep drawing dudes pretty badly. I'm just gonna do that. I guess I'll resolve it, and I will martyr it. That. Why can't I martyr here? I have the two resources. This is quick action speed. I can't play Time Ripple or Martyr. What's going on? Seriously. That's annoying. I have three resources. I have both of these cards. It's not letting me play them. That's frustrating. <laughs> Seriously? What is, what is the deal? Oh, wait. It's because of Cerebral Domination. I can't play turns. I can't play cards on here. That's right. Okay, that's what happened. That's what happened. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Well, that's frustrating. Well, I guess I just martyr this guy and time ripple the other one. Make him replay it on his turn. Let's shuffle some things in. I guess I can draw cards. I just can't play cards on his turn. I can't play cards at quick action speed. Delayed him for a turn. I don't really want these Carnosauruses in the deck, so I'm not going to shuffle them in. Zachary's here to sing, sing to us to make me feel better. 
And a Balthazar. It's over. It's over. Zachary, come on, bye byes. Oh, come on, Zachary. Go bye byes. Bye bye. Yeah, Balthazar signals the end of this. I have to block here, do I? I guess I can take nine. I'll take nine, sure. I also did flood pretty hard on this one. I mean, not to make too many excuses here, but maybe I shouldn't have kept my opening hand. That was kind of a big mistake, maybe. I'm a flyer now. Goes for sapphire. So I can double block his guy if he doesn't pump him. Oh, he eats... He eats both of my guys. That's unfortunate. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, it's over. Yep, this is where Monument, where Martyr really just doesn't do it. You know, like, times like this is when Mar Monument really just does not work again. Or Martyr just doesn't work. Any type of troop deck, honestly. This is why I dislike it so much. But I decided to play it anyways. Play the Mythic deck. Alright, well I don't think this is going to be good enough because he just swings away next turn and wins anyways. I can shuffle these guys in. It's over. There's nothing I can do. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, I'm basically bluffing with a shard here. Yep. Well, at least I get to kill this crocosaur that ate my guys. Not off to a good start here. 